in this snip, we're going to focus on how to confirm script behavior in PowerShell. Let's get started. The confirm parameter is a common parameter available to most native PowerShell commandlets and advanced functions with the built-in functionality. When using the confirm parameter, it forces PowerShell to prompt the user before performing the action, acting as a safeguard for any potential destructive actions. Executing stop process, you can see the confirm message in the console prompting us for feedback. Right now we will answer no and leave the notepad process running. It is also possible to pass the true value to the confirm parameter as we have outlined. This behaves the same way as the command we ran before. Lastly, if you pass a false value to the confirm parameter, it will not prompt the user to confirm the action. Executing our code, you can see that stop process ran without prompting us for any confirmation on stopping the notepad process. Running the get process command, we can verify the process is no longer running. As mentioned earlier, advanced functions must have the built-in functionality and proper code to utilize the confirm parameter. To understand how this functionality works, we need to take a look at the confirm preference automatic variable. The confirm preference variable defines the built-in confirm impact levels for PowerShell. The three available levels are high, medium, and low, with high being the default. Looking at our variable, we confirm it is set to high. When building an advanced function, we can define the confirm impact level within our commandlet binding attribute. In our function, we are setting the confirm impact level to high, which is equal to the value in the confirm preference variable. When the confirm preference variable is set to the same or a higher level than the level in the function, PowerShell will prompt the user for confirmation without having to specify the confirm parameter. After you've defined the confirm impact level, you will need to add the supports should process to enable the confirm parameter. Finally, you will need to define the should process method on the PS commandlet variable around the section of code you want confirmed. In our function, we will wrap the remove item in our should process method for confirmation. Now when we run our function, we will be prompted for our next action without specifying the confirm parameter. We can go ahead and confirm our action. And notice that the readme.txt has been deleted without us having to provide the confirm parameter. One final note, had the confirm impact level been set to medium or low, we would not have been prompted by our function since the confirm preference is set to high. Setting the appropriate confirm impact level in your function will guarantee any potentially destructive action is prompted for confirmation before being executed. That covers how to confirm script behavior with PowerShell. Thank you for watching.